Okay, so here we have Zoom Inflow Workflows. It's pretty straightforward to use. To find it, you can go over to Sales OS, click the home page, go over to More, then click Workflows. On the left hand side, we have Filters. You have Locked Plays, which means you need to take a step in order to unlock it. You have Implemented Plays, which means somebody has used it in your organization or is currently using it. You have Platform, so which platform you want the workflow to be used on. So in this case, we'll do Sales OS. Triggers, so what you want the workflow to be based off of. So we could do a workflow for funding or technologies or technologies dropped or all the above. So I'll just clear these. Then actions, so this is what you want the workflow to take in terms of an action. So if you want it to discover Zoom Info contacts, you simply toggle that on. If you want it to export to a business system, you simply turn that on. And you can see up here it changes based off what I select. Okay, you can create a workflow up here. If you want to do a customized workflow, not using any templates, you can also search for a play here. So you can do intent or we can do scoops, for example. So scoops. And yes, this is the main screen right here. So over here, we have workflow list. This is a list of all the workflows that you have ever created and are running or not running. If we filter for on, we can see all the workflows on. If we filter for off, all the ones off, pretty straightforward. Over here, you can see the high level stats of a workflow. So in this case, I see 5.6 thousand contacts or workflow actions have been completed. Uh, you can see on the left hand side who it was updated by, who created it, what triggers they're based off of. So intent only workflows, for example, uh, different actions that they're taking, the frequency that they're running. And over here, you can see the workflow CSV list. So this is all the CSVs that have been created by a workflow. So if you ever export a contact, it will let you, it will automatically create a CSV to show you where that contact is. So if we go back to playbook here, you can see a list of all the different potential template, or otherwise known as plays that you can do for your workflows. So all you need to do is simply click try it to get started. Now, let's say you don't have all the information you need and you're not quite sure how it works. Like what's the difference between intent signal targeting and real time intent signal targeting? Well, all you need to do is simply click learn more. If you click learn more, it will bring you to a page with a video and an in-depth explanation in addition to several templates and so on on how to actually use it.